as the Stephen Hawking quoted, the increase of disorder and chaos distinguishes past from future, which gives direction to time. Hey guys, this is Dr. Vosley. Today we're going to talk about the entropy. Entropy is the basic phenomenon in thermodynamics where it states that everything leads to chaos if left unattended or if you don't give attention to the, uh, the entropy of isolated system or any uh, closed system that goes on increasing infinitely. And it really, you know, complicates the life in some ways. I mean, I read an article someday that it says that um, everything is leading to chaos in our life. And it really, yeah, I think, I think about it and I really realize that it really is related with our normal, I mean, it's more related with the how universe functions. I mean, um, yeah, everything is turning to chaos. Each and every second, each and every microseconds, our body cells are dying, degrading. The businesses all over the world are, you know, dying and the criminality is increasing. Everything is leading to chaos. Nothing is in an order. Everything is in disorder. So, that's the big thing, but we need to focus on our own personality or on our own minds first. Sometimes, or more often in our lives, we think that uh, everything is in disorder, everything is chaos, everything is chaotic. You look at, at your personal lives, your relationships, you see they are in not in good shape. So the entropy, first of all we learned where the entropy was first discovered. Uh, there was a German scientist called, his name was... Um, maybe Clausius something, uh, he was German, he was a mathematician or a physicist, he discovered that the entropy and he also gave us a law in which he states that um, in, thermo in thermodynamic terms it states that uh, you can't just transfer the energy from the low temperature body to the high temperature body without using external work or the agency. There's a similar concept that is given by another mathematician or physicist whose name was uh, Clausius it was like prevalent uh, let me think uh, a Kelvin Planck statement a Kelvin Planck statement states that the it is impossible to generate in a device it's impossible to produce in a device which sole purpose is to convert the equivalent amount of you know the heat that is supplied into the work so there will be some degradation of the energy while it will be when there will be energy transformation so this energy transformation the, the amount of energy that is regraded by the universe or the amount of energy that is exerted while transformation is entropy that entropy is actually a tax that is taken by the universe you can say that um, and so that was a thermodynamic thing but if you look at our personal lives our relationships our businesses our personal professional and personal lives uh, if you really want to keep those things in a good shape you must give a proper attention to it and um, sometimes we get too much focus in our professional work that we start to you know untend our personal things we don't give that much attention that it needs and it will start to crumble it will lead to chaos it is the basic law of the universe the entropy everything leads to chaos i just want to say that if you really want to keep the old things well in a good shape you must give a proper attention to it it can be anything i mean it can be a workout it can be your study is it can be your work or it can be your relationship it can be your relationship with your family it could be anything you just need to give a proper amount of time and focus and attention to it or 
it will lead to chaos, it will lead to disorder. For example, um, if you don't clean your room for some days, even consider, suppose you uh, don't clean your room for one year, what will be his, its condition? I mean, it will become like chaotic, everything will be a mess, there will be uh, spiders coming out of, from the walls and everything of that. So we must attend give these small, small aspects of our life, these micro processes that we do each and every day will, you know, prevent the collapse that will happen in the future. Yeah. So we need to think about it, right? So that's it for today. Um, if you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel. Have a good day.